Shall we play a game? Hey, what's going on, guys? So this is my first commentary. Um, and before I get into, you know, introductions and telling you about myself, I just wanted to take a look here. And I picked this video because the spawn system is so broken on MW3. Um, basically, I just got into this match. It just started, and I spawn behind the enemy team. So I get four or five kills right off the start. Um, I pretty much spawn on the other side of the map for my team. And, you know, this is just, uh, this is the worst I think I've pretty much ever seen it. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm an older gamer, um, 41. Uh, I have three kids, um, living in Jersey. Um, and pretty much, you know, I, I play as a casual gamer. Um, you know, pretty much when I'm not doing uh, anything with my kids or my wife, you know, I like to jump online and, um, you know, play with my buddies uh, at MGC. So, you know, I did okay in this game. Um, I think I ended up going 39 and 14 or 33 and 14. But, I mean, the re main reason I picked this is because of the spawn system. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys know and have come across it that, you know, this is, you know, a lot of times, even in um, games, um, that have, uh, have objectives, you know, it's you, you spawn next to the, the player or, you know, the opposite team um, spawns in front of you. Um, it's just, it's just really a joke. Um, so, I mean, my thoughts on this game so far, um, I pretty much hate Infinity Ward. I think they suck. Um, I don't think they've done anything um, worthwhile since COD 4. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 was... I, I hated that game uh, <laughs> almost as much as I hate this game but you know pretty much this game is just brought back um, the quick scoping which uh, you know a lot of people talk about you know making the game feel as realistic and um, as possible you know, with the weapons and you know the sound effects and um, the ambient sound and you know it's just you know, quick scoping is not realistic in, in any way, shape, or form. You know, um, if you're a sniper, or if you've, you know, read anything about snipers, um, you know, they, they pretty much are in stealth mode. You know, they're not running and gunning. They're, you know, sitting in the back of the battlefield. Um, you know, or, you know, if you've ever watched a show about sniping, um, you know, it's, it's not something, you know, that they, you get dropped in like airborne. Um, you know, that's something that takes a long time. You know, you have your ghillie suit on, you sneak to the objective. You know, there's times where you can, you know, pretty much be at a location for days, you know, trying to, um, you know, be as quiet as possible and as stealthy as possible. You know, running and gunning and using the aim assist and, you know, quick scoping is just not part of the game. It's, it's a joke. Um, and you get all these bitches that are crying, like when Treyarch put out their game, where you actually had to, you know, be a sniper and be at the back of the map and, you know, get in, um, get in positions where, you know, you, you have a long range shot. But, you know, you have all these bitches that are whining that they can't quick scope. You know, quick scoping is not, to me, it's not um, a skill. You know, you're, you're basically, to me, exploiting um, Infinity Ward's joke of a game. Um, I, I just, yeah, <laughs> I just don't like Infinity Ward. You know, um, I don't think they bring anything to the community. Um, pretty much, I feel that, that Modern Warfare 3 is nothing more than a rinse and repeat of Modern Warfare 2. Um, you know, it, it's, it feels the same as Modern Warfare 2. Sure, you have different maps, you know, different guns. You know, they might have um, updated some of the graphics. But, uh, you know, it's I pretty much say that this is, you know, Modern Warfare 2.5. We paid at least $60 for a new game. 
Um, but it, it's nothing more than, you know, some DLC. Um, so, I mean, I guess you can... I guess you can understand how I can feel about this game. Um, but, so, you know, we're... Um, so I spawned in this game, uh, going back to some of the gameplay, and um, I usually don't do this well, you know. Uh, I, I have my moments, um, but for the most part, I'm not that great of a gamer. Uh, I've been gaming for maybe three years now, give or take. I've uh, been recording for, for maybe two, and this is a joke, I mean... You know, uh, this, this is the kind of luck I have. You know, I jump over the wall just as he snuck past, and I get shot in the back. Which is another thing. You know, I can't tell you how many times, um, you know, I get shot in the back. Or, uh, you know, I, I watched the kill cam, and after I died, and pretty much the, um, the enemy uh, will spawn and right behind me. I mean, literally right behind me. Um, and I never know that they're there. Or, you know, I'll spawn after dying and, um, you know, pretty much take two steps and get killed. Um, that's pretty much why I don't play some of, um, you know, some of the game types. And there's that schmuck sitting up in that corner, camping. Which is another thing about this. There's so many things wrong with this game. Um, you know, I wasn't, uh, you know, I don't even think this game was out a week. Um... And people were doing wall hacks and vehicle hacks already. Um, you know, I just, uh, I, I just, I think Infinity Ward's done. I don't think they're bringing anything to to the community anymore. Um, you know, unless, unless they do something epic, and in their next release, um, I most likely will not buy it. Um, you know, I, I, I feel I'm pretty much done with this game. Um, you know. I, of course, you know if my uh, if the guys that uh, you know I usually run with uh, MGC, um, you know if they want to play or if there's a member that um, you know is looking to to grind out some levels, sure, you know I'll be more than happy to to, uh, to throw the disc in and, uh, and play with them. But um, you know if I had a choice, I'd, I'd definitely go with with uh, Black Ops. Um, I think Treyarch is is light years ahead of Infinity Ward in the fact that that they mix it up. You know, it's it's not the same game uh, with every release. Um, I know they're looking into, um, you know, bringing out uh, Black Ops 2, um, which I think would be good. I, you know, I really enjoyed Black Ops. I thought that was probably one of the balanced Call of Duty games out there so far, um, at least that I've played. Um, you know, you, you had, uh, you know, you could snipe if you did it the right way. You know, if you stayed in the back of the map, sure, it might have taking you two rounds to, to down an enemy, but, um, you know, it was balanced, you know, uh, the fact that, I mean, in real life, most of the time you're going to hit with a, with a, um, a sniper rifle, it's, you know, you're going to be down, but, um, you got to take the good with the bad, you know, you, you couldn't run and gun in black ops with, um, with a sniper rifle, like you can do it here with the, with the, uh, aim assist and, and, you know, the quick scoping, um, you really had a hard scope the, the enemy, um, but I, I thought, um, you know, Treyarch, you know, did a better job with, with the Call of Duty and, and the fact of, um, you know, balancing the game, but, um, you know, this, this is just about wrapping up, um, unfortunately we lost, um, probably because I wasn't with my MGC guys, <laughs> but, um, you know, we do, we do have games that, you know, we do lose, and there's me, I don't know what I was doing in that right there, but, um, you know, I do have my sensitivity turned up to about seven or eight, and at times I go a little nuts. Um, but as you can see, uh, we lost 169 to 200. Um, the final kill cam, of course, it's me. You know, trying to cap a flag. Um, you know, I, I appreciate you guys looking into it or looking, uh, you know, watching me. I end up going 33 and 11 with one assist. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, take care. And um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Take care.